What's up, people? Matt here with Search Engineers. Today, we're going to be talking about Performance Max Google Ads for e commerce businesses, okay? How it works, how to set it up, and a couple take home strategies you can use to increase your performance today. Without further ado, let's jump right into it. Okay, so first and foremost, the way Performance Max works. So, Using Google's definition, Performance Max uses machine learning models to optimize bids and placements to drive conversions or conversion value for your goals. But you can provide important inputs like audience signals, including your customer data and high quality text images and video, blah, blah, blah. But what does that mean, Matt? So Performance Max markets your business across YouTube display, search, discover, Gmail, maps, and shopping. In many cases, you're not going to be using maps, and I actually think it might be deprecated right now. So it's going to market your products across all these channels, okay? So it, in most cases, it's going to find the shopping is going to be what converts the best, but it's going to find which channel converts the best, and if you add your entire product feed, it's going to find which products work the best, right? So in most cases, the way I actually prefer to start a Performance Max campaign is to just very simply add all my products to a Performance Max campaign, right? So if I'm starting off with a brand new from scratch Pmax campaign, right? I'm gonna add all of my products to one campaign. Okay, I'm not gonna break everything out into a bunch of different campaigns. This is going to give the system more conversion data to find what works the best. Okay, in my experience, this is the best way to start out. Google's going to find which channel works the best and then by properly adding your entire product feed, it's going to find which products convert the best. So it's gonna go after the low hanging fruit to start. And you might say, Matt, I have a very large feed. I have thousands of products in my feed. I can't possibly afford to spend to test all of those products to start. What should I do if all of those products don't get any traffic? So again, Performance Max is going to go after the low hanging fruit first. So let's say you have a thousand products, right? Let's say you have a thousand products. Google's likely only going to spend the bulk of that budget to about 40 or so products in the beginning because it found that those 40 products are what converted the best. Now it might run traffic to all of those products, maybe half of them don't get any spend at all, but those top 40 products are gonna get the bulk of the ad spend, okay? At that point, once you've found your winning products, you're getting the return on ad spend that is sustainable to scale, you're gonna pause the rest of those products and add them into a new campaign. So let's kind of go over, jump into Google Ads and talk a little bit about how this works. All right, so we're inside Google Ads. We're using my demo store, Audio Pros Plus, because I am an audio nerd, as you can see. So we got a couple of campaigns here. We got a couple standard shopping campaigns we got a performance max campaign let's build a performance max campaign from start so we're going to click new campaign and this is of course already assuming that you have all of your products added to merchant center you're using some sort of api feed app that that seamlessly integrates your feed with google and all of that is done okay so you're going to click sales as your primary objective click continue. Uh, this is also assuming that you have your purchase conversion goal set up. Okay. Conversion tracking and merchant center will be handled in other videos. If you would like to request any videos, please let me know in the comments. We're going to click performance max in this campaign, P max demo. This takes us to the bidding strategy. There's a couple really important pieces of information here. So Acquire, so customer acquisition and bidding. So when you are, when you start off with bidding, there's lots of different ways to approach this. Um, if you've already seen a sustainable return on ad spend in your account and you're seeing in this account on these products, we're seeing a 3X return on ad spend, you could just start off with 300%. Okay, but Google is going to go off of the data that you have in the account. Okay, so if you're only seeing a 1X over the past several months, but you set the bidding strategy to a 3X, it's not going to work and your, and your campaign likely isn't going to spend any money at all. So it's better to, in many cases, start off with what you've seen sustainably in the account. Okay. So in this account, we haven't seen anything, so I'm not going to set a, a bidding strategy at all, right? Because this is a new out of the box Google ads account. I will be making separate videos going over bidding strategy in more detail for now. I just want to cover building a performance max account customer acquisition do we want to optimize our campaigns for acquiring new customers so i'm going to explain this in the best possible way i like to break up my e-commerce clients into two overall categories right so on the one hand they are the brand meaning they own the ip they do not have authorized resellers they are the business they own the brand nobody else 
is authorized to sell their brand, okay? On the other hand, you have authorized resellers, meaning they may sell for multiple brands. This is a bit. This is a business strategy that I've used in the past. It's a business model that I've used in the past. It's worked very, very well for my e-commerce businesses that I've built and sold. I went off of the authorized reseller model, meaning I was able to take advantage of transactional keywords from other people's brands. If you are an authorized reseller, you would never need to use a new customer acquisition bidding strategy. If you own the brand yourself, you may want to consider creating a new customer acquisition focused bidding strategy because otherwise your Performance Max campaign may actually work as a remarketing campaign unintentionally, meaning you're just kind of going over repeat customers and branded keywords, which you should break out into other campaigns, okay? So I will cover new customer acquisition more in another video as well. If you guys have any uh, recommendations for videos you'd want me to make, just let me know. We're gonna click United States, just assuming that we are in the United States. We have a couple of options here, right? So in our Performance Max campaign, right, we have our first asset group. This is a strategy you could try that may just increase your performance max return on ad spend this month, okay? No guarantees, but let's give it a try. So you can actually bypass marketing on YouTube, Gmail, search, display, and discover and focus only on shopping by skipping through this campaign, clicking next, we'll add an audience signal later, Clicking next, set your budget, whatever you want it to be. Let's just assume 50 bucks a day. Click next, boom. Pmax demo. It's gonna check for errors. I need to authenticate. Uh-oh, where's my phone? Boom. So it's not necessarily the case that you don't market on any of those other channels. However, it markets the feed only. So it only focuses on the feed. Right, so you might see some traffic from YouTube. However, this is the best way to keep the majority of your traffic only focused on your shopping feed. Meaning there are still, you know, there, there could be display shopping feed options. There could be YouTube shopping feed options, et cetera, et cetera. This is going to focus only on your feed. So it doesn't, so this is a common misconception with this strategy with the, we call it the feed only strategy. Okay. Some people think it's shopping only your, a majority of your traffic is going to be shopping, but there's still going to be a portion of it. That's going to go to other channels, marketing your feed. Okay. So we covered how it works. We covered how to set up performance max. And I gave you a little bit of sauce, a little bit of take home strategy that you can try to potentially increase your return on ad spend this month. Okay. So a little bit more about me guys. I built and sold two e-commerce businesses a few years ago. I manage Google ads, e-commerce campaigns across various industries. And I'm currently managing about $300,000 in Google ad spend this month right now. And I actually have a really special offer for you. I want to give you a free Google ads audit and I want to manage your Google ads account for you completely for free for one month. That's it. No credit card required, nothing like that. I just want to hop into your account, see what I can do to make it better. If I can't help you, I'll be honest, but if I find opportunities to improve your account, I'll do so completely for free. If you're interested, you can click the link in the description to get started. There's a limit to how many people I can work with and not everybody is going to qualify. So you will have to apply at the link in the description. If you do qualify, I will be reaching out to you shortly and we can get started. Guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you found this helpful. If you guys have any other questions, comments, concerns, anything like that, leave them in the comments below. Otherwise, have a great day. I'll see you very soon. Peace.